Welcome. It's Sunday. It's a beautiful Sunday here in Philly. I hope it's nice where you are. I'm not sure if it's warm or chilly, but um, welcome to Philly Philly. And I am Amy and I'm going to be making one of my favorite desserts today. And it's a key lime pie. And I got out like the one thing I have that is green in its honor. I get that out for Key Lime, and I guess I could get that out for St. Pat Patty's Day also. But, um, so I'm all dot up in my green. Are you wearing green? He's not wearing green. I am wearing... You're wearing blue. Blue. So welcome to our channel where we cook things, we mix drinks, we do food reviews. Um, for some uh, yellow on me, it'll turn into green. Yes, oh my gosh, we can do science class mixing colors but um, if you are joining us please feel free to say hello in the chat we love um, having conversations with those that are popping in our stream and also if you like content like this please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything because even if you can't hop on for the stream you might want to watch it later at your own leisure exactly exactly right do you like key lime pie I love key lime pie why do you love key lime pie it reminds me of summer. It does. It does. And I always think of Florida, like the Keys. I mean, because now Key Lime, I don't think has anything to do with the Keys, right? Because you were not. looking up information about Key Lime. It's not. You want to, you want to read yeah. it? Yeah. So, actually it does. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that's name. okay. We're all learning here, right? Because even though we make things, sometimes we don't know everything behind it. This is the name comes from its association with the Florida Keys, where it is best known as the flavoring ingredient in key lime pie. It is also known as the Western West Indian West Indian lime, bartender's lime, blah 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 blah. Um, does it say blah 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 blah? It does. Blah. Yeah. I love so, when they do that. It's smaller, seedier, has higher acidity, stronger aroma, and thinner rind than the Persian lime. It is valued for its characteristics flavor. So then this would be the Persian line, is that correct? What you would think? I believe. I and I will say one correct. thing that I, as a cook and a mixologist is that, not that I'm like anything fancy mixologist, I'm just saying, because I do mix drinks and you do too, um, is that limes, most limes that we buy do not have seeds and lemons always do. So that's actually something that I find to be relieving with regular limes, but key limes do apparently. And so I don't know. I've never found anything other than Nellie and Joe's famous Key West lime juice to make this pie. And whenever I've made it, it is this juice, although the bottle has changed over the years. So I'm just curious about the smell. So I'm going to actually, and it's got the little seal there, so let me get that off. You know, that's famous. <laughs> you know, because if they say they're famous, they're famous, right? Could we just say Philly Philly famous YouTube channel and will that make me famous? <laughs> no, Probably I don't want to be not. famous, actually. Oh, that's interesting. To me, it's... Well, you know what? I actually have some lime... Careful, because right. it might be full. I have some lime juice already squirted that I done, I don't know, a couple Take nights ago. Take a shot so of let's, it? No, no, and you're not putting your lips to that, because that would be gross. But here's some lime juice, actually. And I was not preparing for this. We just happened to have some freshly squeezed lime juice. So let's compare the aromas. And I will say... I also feel like this is going to smell a little different because it's it definitely has some preservatives because we'll you know. look at the ingredients. I think there's kind of see. Okay. Well, wait. Can you first do the smell test, darling? Yeah. Hubs. Okay. Yeah. yeah it definitely has a different. It definitely has a different smell, and it has that key lime smell that makes me very happy because it it's usually like it almost has almost has a sweeter smell. I agree. And it makes me think a key lime something or other is coming my way, which makes me super happy. So um, I, key lime pie is one of my favorite desserts as well, because I always feel like no matter what, I can squeeze in a slice of key lime pie. If, if, well, I will take that back. If I know it's a place that has really good key lime pie, because I don't think all key lime pies are alike. And that's why I actually wanted to do this stream, because there is a very common way, nothing wrong with it. I'm not going to be a key lime pie snob. But there's a very common way of making a key lime pie, which is with condensed milk. And it's a lot easier. Um, and then it was years ago that I came up upon, I will say full disclaimer, I don't know that it's this recipe. What happened was, this is 
showing my age is back when we used to collect recipes on paper, I wasn't the most organized with my recipes. So if it didn't make it into my recipe box, yes, I'm recipe box old. Are you recipe box old? Let me know down in the chat. So I am recipe box old. I still have a recipe box. In fact, I'm gonna show you that just to prove my point. I don't care, I'm, I'm not thinking proud. they believe you. What's that? I'm thinking they believe you. Probably didn't need to do that. Oh, thank you. I think you insulted me. Like, didn't he insult me? I think he just insulted me. Isn't this adorable? My cute little recipe box. It's blue. Has a chicken on it. Because my, oh, and it says with love. Because recipes are always with love. So in this recipe box, which is, you know, it's organized somewhat and a mess. But I do have some of my favorite recipes in here. But then what would happen is back in the day, and I think I actually got this recipe from, I don't know if it was from a magazine or the internet, but it was back when you printed all your recipes on the internet. You know, that was, that also is really descriptive of, of my It's like the one commercial, it's the commercial, we don't need to print the internet. Right, right, exactly, right, right. So that is when um, I would print a recipe. And anyways, I, I can no longer find it. But what I did remember was I remembered what made it unique. What made it unique is you cooked the filling in a double boiler, which I don't have one, but I'll, I'll do the little, like what you can do. And I'll talk about that when we get to that step. But um, you cooked it and you made a, a key lime curd and you added lots of delicious butter because everything's better with butter. And anyway, when I made this pie, I learned two things. Butter indeed does make everything better, and the pie is outstanding. For just a little extra work, and this isn't hard, but just a little extra work yields amazing results. But then the other thing is that I learned was how easy and worth it it is to make a homemade graham cracker crust. Mm. Because I don't know about you all wherever you live, but I know here in the States, they come ready-made by Keebler, I believe, mm -hmm. and it's so easy. And I will admit that I have used a Keebler crust, actually because of my boys loving chocolate, usually it's the chocolate yeah, cookie right. crust, because it's already made, it makes it that much easier whipping together in a dessert. But when I made the homemade crust, it is so much better, like remarkably so much better. So we are gonna start with that. So the first thing we're gonna do is make the crust because the crust just bakes for about nine minutes to kind of like get it all together. And then that'll be cooling while we're doing the rest of it. So to make our crust, and I was really sad because I actually had every intention of making the crust gluten-free because I'm going to be seeing uh, my sister and her family soon and I wanted to bring the remnants, whatever was remaining of this pie, to them. And I still will, but then she'll just have to scoop out the filling and leave the crust behind because she's gluten-free. Um, but we just could not find anything that would be appropriate to either crush up like cookies that were gluten-free cookies. Yep. They all had chocolate in it or they had flavors that like cinnamon. I love cinnamon, but not a key lime pie. Like you gotta have your spaces, right? So um, so I tried um, and I do know at certain stores they have those. We were talking about this, but the ones we went to today, they didn't. Exactly. So we were a little disappointed in it. So I just have a nine inch pie pan and I'm gonna set that aside over here. And I, so what I'm gonna do, cause this is what's gonna, this is the thing. We're gonna be making the crust, we're gonna be baking it. We're gonna be making the lime curd, the key lime curd that's gonna go in a little bit. And then it's gonna need to chill for like three hours. So this is not gonna be a four hour long so stream. It's gonna be a really long stream. It's not we're, not, we're not sticking around for that long. So I'm gonna do a little cheat. I'm going to put a little baby crust in here. This is our tasting, this oh, is our cool. tasting bowl. Put a little baby crust in here, and then we'll put the curd. Well, actually, I, once I do that, this is your one of your jobs, besides making sure if anyone's chatting to make sure I don't miss that. Um, your other job is make sure this goes in the fridge after it comes out of the oven. Okay. Because I want to make sure that it gets cooled, and that'll help cool the custard a little bit okay. and we'll just give it a few minutes to set a little bit and even if it's a little bit more loose it's okay because it still taste good okay we just don't want to burn our mouths so right so that's your job so we'll put that here so we're going to mix our ingredients for our homemade crust now you could always get your favorite graham crackers and you could crush them with a mallet with um, a rolling pin but i already got them let me get a couple things over here i already got them in a box Easy peasy lemon squeezy, or I should say key lime squeezy, since it's not lemon today. All right, so I'm just going to rip 
and to my crust is gonna be one, and by the way, the recipe is in the link below. Oh, so I realized I forgot to link the link. So the link is below in the description. What happened was I never could find the original recipe that I used, so I feel badly, because that recipe really inspired me to like go big with key lime pie. But I scoured the internet. I don't know, my friend was asking me for a key lime recipe, and I was like, oh, I have the best one, and then I couldn't find it. So I said, let me look and see if I can find one that, to me, reminds me of it. And that's what this one is below. So this is not the one I necessarily used all those years ago, but it's very similar because it makes the key lime curd. So where do you think it is? I think it's just like well, we lost moved. Remember move? we did this whole empty nest thing, and yeah. we, yeah, yeah, I think I got lost okay. in the move. Because I had to like downsize everything. Ugh. Okay. Downsize so, your recipes? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I did. So in a bowl, we are going to put uh, one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs. So let me get, get there. So one and a half. We'll just add a little extra so we have enough for the bowl. And to that, we're also gonna add a half cup sugar and six tablespoons of melted butter. More butter, because butter is yummy. All right, so let's see, I'm doing um, half cup sugar. Just tap all those crumbs out of there. I always gotta make some noise, and you know, it wouldn't be a stream if I didn't make some sort of not noise that popped to make sure you weren't sleeping. There we go, so we're gonna have half cup sugar. And you may wonder why I brought a little cocktail glass. Did you wonder why I have a little cocktail glass? I thought you were going to have cocktail. It's a little early for cocktail. But um, no, that's not why. I'm using this going to help us press down our graham cracker crust once we combine with the butter. So now I'm going to just melt. I put six tablespoons of butter here. I'm going to melt that in my microwave. Do that. So this is a low fat pie. Well, yeah, there's no, since there, since there are no nutritional numbers on this pie, it means it's zero, zero calories, zero fat, zero sugar, it's all good stuff. And you know what? It's fruit because it's key lime, so it means it's good for you. Nice try. Isn't that, don't you think? Yeah, nice try. I mean, you, you look at it that way when you put lime in a drink, right? That it's healthy because you put some citrus in there. Isn't that what everyone knows? Typically, there's not a bunch of butter in the... In oh, the this, there's just sugar in the form of liquor. That's true. Butter is definitely more evil than sugar. My love. <laughs> so, anyway, it's all good. It's all about moderation, right? I think everyone, as long, unless you have allergies to things, everyone can enjoy everything in moderation. And I can attest to that because it has been a long time since I've made this key lime pie. And actually, you saw you saw that I was talking about this on the stream, my bonus stream on Friday. Remember? You yeah. noticed that? Because I was talking about how, um, I was talking about the fact that you, you know, kind of put a kibosh on all of my inventive cooking when we were first married because we were both getting a few LBs. Okay, that's right. Yeah. I'm going to do is I'm going to just, not that you need to do this, but this is where my little detail goes in. This is not necessary, nece necessarily, but I'm just going to give my sugar and graham cracker crumbs a little stir just to incorporate them a little bit. Nothing in the recipe says this, but I'm going to do that. So, and then I'm going to add my melted butter. And you can see that I made sure I, I um, chose just the right size bowl so that I can make sure and I have some messy sides. Yep. No, I, no, I'm actually making fun of myself because I should have chosen a bigger bowl, but I needed my bigger bowl for the lemon curd. So let me just pour this. Yum. Okay, get all that yummy butter. And then I'm just gonna toss it with my fork. Get it all moistened. It's amazing how just graham cracker crumbs, butter, and sugar can taste so delicious. And it really does. Sometimes the simplest things can be the yummiest. So if you're watching this video, or if you're on the stream, 
Let me know what is one of your favorite desserts. And let's start with summer desserts. What is your favorite summer dessert? What do you like to eat in the summer? Or what is something that you always have room for? And if you're watching this video later, put it in the comments because I do love reading the comments and responding to the comments. So if you're joining me later, What's watching a video, What's your favorite? this is one of my favorites. Is it? Yeah. In the summer or if it's at a place that I know it's going to be good, this is one of my favorites. One of my other favorites is similar. It's lemon meringue pie because I love meringue and lemon for the same reason. It's just, uh, it's like a lemon curd. Pie. How about, so is that, what are, oh, and I have one more favorite I want to speak of. Um, what's the one with the crispy sugar on top? Oh, um, we just had it. Um, I, it's not I, flan because flan is the no, caramel it's, side. It's, um, you know, it's this is our that. Thing. You know, it's, it's, it's in the it's ramekin, like, uh, yep. and and you have the spoon, and you go crack, 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 and it's yep. all caramelized. I'll think of it. We'll think of it like in an hour, or in our sleep. Like Thursday, I'll think of it. <laughs> okay, so I've now incorporated. It looks like wet sand. I talk about wet sand a lot. Look, doesn't look like wet it sand. Does look like wet. Sand. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna swoosh it into our pan. But first I'm going to set aside a little bit because I don't want to forget to set aside a little bit for our little test. So I think what I'm, so what you do once you put it in here I'm going to show you in a second. I'm going to use this glass for this one. You take the bottom of a glass to kind of pat it down to kind of smush it down and pack it down. So this see look how nice that is. I, you feel like you're playing with sand. So that's going to go in the oven. No, we're going to put that in the oven, so I'll do that in a second. But now this is going to go here. I have a feeling I have too much. I have a feeling I didn't need to make extra. That's a, that's a lot of... Oh, my gosh. That, that is... is a, I know it's going to get patted down, so I'm just going to wait a second. I'm not going to use it. And I, I used this to pat it down because I thought that would work out well. I'm just going to try to... Sorry, I'm just watching that. What baseball game are you watching? Oh, Phil's. They're down five dollars. No. Well, I will say it's hard to win every game. Yeah, I don't think we need all that. So if you if you find in your pan, because I do think pie pans can vary in. So I'm just using a bottom, like a flat bottom glass to just press it down, almost like you would if you were playing on the beach, just so you can make a smooth surface. Um, and then I'm going to use this to just press it against the sides. But, you know, all pans are different. Some pans, even a nine inch pie pan are, they're deeper. It's more of a deep dish pie pan. So if you have a deep dish pie pan, you might use all this, but this is overkill for as much as I even love this crust, this is definitely going to be overkill. So, and you're just trying to get it to be even-ish, but that's the great thing about home cooking is is it's rustic. So if, if one part has a little bit thicker um, graham cracker crust, all the better because honestly, this, this is such a delicious crust that your guests will not be disappointed. They will be excited to get the extra thick part. So I'm just pressing it down again, just trying to secure it because what I want to have happen when we add the lime curd after we cook it, is I want it to, the crumbles to stay, like to not get lost in the curd, because we want that to be separate, two separate layers. We have the yummy, buttery, sugary crust, and then we have the slightly tart, rich curd. Here, looks pretty nice. Let me just show you, and I'm gonna put this side over here. So you can see, I just put that everywhere. Okay, and I have my mini one, of course, you won't be doing a mini one, I'm just doing it so that we can taste. So I'm putting this in a 375 oven for nine minutes. I'll take my mini one out sooner. My timer. Okay, let me just brush this off. So the first step is done, we have made our crust. And now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating our lime curd. So the first thing I'm gonna do before I create the lime curd is I'm going to get my, um, my gelatin softened. So you do use gelatin to help make the curd. 
and you can just buy it at the grocery store. Um, I'm gonna need, for my purposes here, I'm gonna need one teaspoon of gelatin and I'm going to sprinkle it over two tablespoons of water. So I'm not sure how this one, how much is in this one, so I'm just going to make sure and measure that out because it helps us get the right consistency. So in this bowl, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of water. Can I taste this? Sure. Okay, there's one. Let's taste. Two. That should taste really good. I, to I told you. Graham cracker, butter, sugar equals yummy. Who would have yeah. thought? What? Yeah, that's pretty good. Isn't that good? I'm telling you, it is worth it to make. If you have time, if you just have, basically, because we were just chit-chatting, so if you have an extra 15 minutes, because it does take nine minutes to, to set up, make it. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a teaspoon of this over top. Okay. What is it? Gelatin. Oh, gelatin. But this is unflavored. Please do not add flavor to this. It's not gonna get you the result you want. Okay, so I've got one teaspoon. One teaspoon right over there. That I'm probably just gonna pitch. And I'm just going to stir that in. What does gelatin do? Just thicken. Just thickens? Okay. I need to do is I need it to soften um, and dissolve. Let me see. Yeah. And so I'm gonna let this just sit while we are making. I'm gonna put this here, and that can sit while we're making the rest. So now for our curd. Um, so one of the things that we're gonna be doing. In fact, let me switch my camera views because. This way, you can see what's gonna be going over here on over the stove, let me turn on that light. Okay, so basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making a double boiler. Um, I don't have a double boiler, I never have, but I've, I've done recipes that call for one. And what a double boiler means, sometimes people will melt chocolate in one, Sometimes like I use the microwave, but if you wanna be super careful that you don't burn the chocolate, you can use a double boiler. All that means is you have simmering water and then you have um, either a metal or a tempered glass. Like this is one of those that can um, withstand heat and the oven. Um, so that's gonna go over top and we're gonna be mixing in there so that it can start to thicken, okay? So with chocolate you want to melt, but with our purpose we're gonna thicken. So I'm gonna put some water in here that can go be simmering. Now the big thing is you don't want the bottom to touch the water, that's the key. And the other key is that you want it to be simmering, not boiling. going first it. and we will start mixing together what is going to be going in our double boiler so um, I'm gonna be mixing or I'm gonna combine first of all the sugar the eggs and lime juice so our, I'm gonna do our eggs first and as many cooks say you never know when you're gonna get a bad egg I've never gotten a bad egg but in case you get a bad egg Especially with something like this, I'm gonna crack them in here first and then add it just in case there's any funny business in my eggs. And that's a good question. Have you ever had an experience with a bad egg? I have yet, which I'm glad about. I mean, I've had a bad egg when we've gone to the grocery store and I thought my eggs were all good and then I come home and one's cracked. Um, in fact, that happened to our son. Remember, he was, oh no, he was trying to get the deal on the eggs. Oh, and I actually, did, I actually didn't follow my rules. Look at me, I just put two eggs there. What if that second egg was bad and the other one would have been ruined? So I'm gonna put these in my bowl. See, I'm not even doing what I'm supposed to be doing because I'm talking. What's one of the things you know about me when I try to do two things at once? It doesn't go well. <laughs> and so it's kind of silly. I would never try to stream, right? Isn't that kind of silly? Like, why would I do that? Okay. I don't know. It's so I'm doing right. One egg, one egg. And that way we're sure that all the eggs are good. No bad eggs, no funny business. So what's a bad egg? I don't know, but they talk about it like it's a thing. That you should always do that. I, I don't know if one looks su suspect. Yeah, okay. I, I don't, that's a really good question. But yeah, 
Luckily, I've never had that experience. Okay, so I have my four eggs here. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add my sugar and my lime juice, or my key lime juice. So it's gonna involve, um, how much sugar? One cup of sugar. Oh, there's not much sugar in this. I put my sugar away, what's it? Oh, here it is. One cup of sugar? Yep. Well, there's three quarter cup, well, I will tell you this, there's three quarter cup of key lime juice. And think about it, when we make, if you would make a cocktail, you would balance your your citrus, not orange, but like a lime, would, like so if it was one ounce of lime, there'd usually be one ounce of simple syrup, right? So this is a dessert, so it wants to be a little sweeter. So instead for a three quarter cup key lime juice, it's gonna be one cup of sugar. See, this is why I shouldn't have him around when I'm making it because then he gets all in his head about, about health. Instead of just enjoying it, right? Well, I'll enjoy it, all right. But, I feel like there's a but there. So one cup of sugar. No but? No but. Okay. Well, the Remember. The would be a little larger after eating all the sugar. I knew you had to get that in there somewhere. What do I keep telling you to, um, what do I keep saying that I want you to kind of, what's the word I want to use? Um, feel through you. Who's who's the chef's husband that I keep saying, bring, bring on that, that kind of vibe. Oh, and it's boiling right now, so I'm gonna put it on the simmer. Do you remember who? Uh, no. It, the person was, I gotta rinse out my buttercup. Jeffrey. Jeffrey, Ina's husband. Yeah, we say you need to, what do they say when you want to get his vibe? Um, your inner Jeffrey, you wanna bring out your inner Jeffrey because he's just always like, this looks delicious. Well, it always looks delicious. This is awesome, sweetie, right? This is awesome. <laughs> All right. So I didn't have to clean this super well because we're going to be adding butter later, but I just got most of it out. Okay, so now I'm going to do three quarter cup of the key lime. Have you thought about what that dessert is? Say it again? The dessert that we can't think of. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. I love creme brulee. I can't really think of that. Because we're that age, that's why. <laughs> it's really sad. Makes me quite sad, I will have to say. The <laughs> worst thing is we literally just had some on Friday. So, or yep. Thursday. Whatever day it was. Yep. That's just is what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this a little bit whisked together. And then I'm going to bring, uh, with a fork, and I'm going to bring this over. Um, actually, I'm going to bring over my whisk. Let me get this little whisk together. And then... I'll use an actual whisk to make sure we don't get lumps when we put it over the double boiler. And I think I'm splurting. So I'm going to go get my whisk right now. So that's the other thing. So key lime is really not... Oh! Whoopsie! It's really not um, green, which you would think. Oh, no, no. Yellow, right, right, right. Oh, thank you for saying that. Because one thing I do want to do, and we'll do this after we put the stuff into chill. Oh, I got to check my... I'm ooing all over the place. I'm taking this one out, and actually the other one looks looks good too. Okay, so actually can you open up the fridge? Because yep. I don't want you to burn, and I don't want this to burn anything either. So I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna put this on something in the fridge so it doesn't create havoc in my fridge. You can just leave that out. Okay. There we go. Okay, let me turn off the oven. Get out our pie crust and then two. I will say the pie crust smells <laughs> smell really good. good. So not only does butter, graham cracker crumbs, and sugar taste good, they smell good too. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna let that cool. Yum! It is smelling mm. good. Okay, so all I'm doing right now is before I get it over, because I'm already splurting things, before I get it over it, <laughs> making a mess. Before I get it over the um, dubber, dubber, the dubber double. borber, the du double boiler, See, I just want to get this a little mix. There's nothing in the recipe that tells you you need to do it this way, but because I'm worried that I'm going to splurt all over my, um, my stove, I'm going to do this now because it makes me feel a little better, like I might keep a cleaner stove. Although the... Timer off? Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, so again, this was not a step you have to do. I'm just doing it. Would Perfect. you do me a favor? 
Thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, so now that I've mixed this up, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm gonna bring it over to my double boiler and I'm gonna whisk constantly over medium heat. So you do not wanna go away from this, okay? Now my low is a little bit high, um, so I'm actually, I can't have mine look as medium as your medium might be. Sometimes you want it to be on less, on more of a simmer, but this one's saying medium heat. And um, when it starts to thicken, we're gonna add butter one piece at a time, okay? So you'll wanna check out the other little camera to see what I'm doing. Do you want me to flip nope, it over good. there? No, nope, we're good. Okay. This is the change that the little, uh, the little has helped me with. I like that. So all I'm doing is just whisking. So how's the weather? <laughs> so how long you have to whisk for? So I'm going to whisk it until it starts to thicken. And when it starts to thicken, I'm going to add the yummy butter one chunk at a time and let it melt into it. Huh. Okay. Is that just kind of like a feel, you know, when it's yeah. ready? So because I see right now the viscosity of it, you know, in fact, I can even... It's a good word. Oh, I'm full of good words. I'm going to get out That's another one of these so I can even show you. So like looking over here at the camera, you can see what it's doing. That is not thick at all, right? So I want it to be, to start to thicken. It doesn't have to be, it's not going to, because it's not going to fully thicken until we add the gelatin, but it will start to thicken. And oh, we didn't add the, yeah, you're right. Yeah, and okay. do you know what's going to actually um, help it start to thicken? Do you know what's in this bowl that actually is going to enable it to start to thicken? But. Good guess, but no, because remember sure. when you add when you add heat to butter, it melts. Sure. There's only one left. What? Oh, this is in there. I haven't put the butter in yet. I put in the key lime and I put the sugar and I put four other things. That was a pig. So they cracked carefully. Eggs. 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 Yes. And actually, specifically. I was watching the Phillies game. <laughs> specifically, the egg. Um, Yolks. They are gonna, gonna gonna make a custard. That makes sense. So yes. absolutely. Should have done that. Should have said that. So you think the youngest will have this when he comes over later? No. Did I tell you he was coming over? No. He yeah. Didn't. So he's, he's gonna over? come over. The reason he was worried about coming over is because he does have a stream this evening, and he didn't want to feel like he was going to eat and run. But I told him it was fine. And he's not going to eat and run, but he's just not going to be able to linger for long. Okay. So, That's as good. you all know, or some of you might not, if you're just joining us, um, our youngest moved out almost a month, a month ago. No, about a month and a half ago, right? Whatever. Whatever. Month, so, a little over a month ago. ago. And um, so, yeah, so he's going to. He lives in dinner. the city, more in the center city area. Right? Yes. Uh oh. Uh -oh. What's wrong? I think it's okay now. The screen was kind of... Yeah, hope, I'm so sorry, by the way, if there's any of that buffering. We've tried to uh, solve the issues, and I feel like we don't really know until we watch it later. But we're not seeing any scary alert signs on our stream, so hopefully that was a good sign. Do you do me a favor and just touch where the recipe is that so that that doesn't go yep. blank? I mean, I can get back up, but it's just nice to not have to worry about it. That stuff does smell good, by the way. Should we go out of the way? Yeah. Go so how's it doing? Oh, wow. Well, now they have my wrist. Okay, we'll do it this way. It hasn't gone. Got... No, it hasn't got thick. It's just still... And I, I, I will tell you, I'll let you know when it starts sticking so you can see. You really will know. I feel like with um, cooking, a lot of it, you have to, to take chances. And you have to also trust that... You know, as long as you keep watch of it, trust that you will know when it starts to change. Because if you think about it, those eggs were, um, they weren't cold eggs because I got taken them out. Not that you had to take them out, but I had, um, you know, so but it was cool eggs and it was room temperature, lime juice, key lime juice, and then the sugar. So like that has to first come and get warm before it can start to thicken. We're doing it gentle. Actually, will you um, start just very slowly while I just, I just want to check something with the recipe? Yep. There you go. 
Let me just check here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yep. Okay. Can I see? Thank you, darling. So I was thinking of doing something um, for, so since the youngest is coming for dinner, um, the first thing out of his mouth was, well, what are you cooking? <laughs> because he's a little fussy. So I'm like, we're having seafood, which he doesn't like, no. And he, I don't think he knew what we were joking, actually. Yeah. I think he thought it was serious, because we joke a lot as a family. So, Just tell him it's something free for him. I know. As so I said, I'm already going to cook cooked it, and he has he a package that came to us, it. and he's got to pick up. Oh, he has to pick up a stamp. Don't let him forget, because when he was going to pay um, the doctor's appointment, he realized he didn't have a stamp to send in the information. <laughs> so I said, sure. Okay. So it's it's empty nesting, but Shelby, this isn't something you would. Well, you like everything, but no, this isn't for you. Hi, Curly. Hi. Nope, nope, it's not for you. Why don't you get her a little T R E A T? Okay. Shelby, you want a treat? Yeah, she can't hear what you said, but right. she does. We walked in the other, other day. Oh she my was gosh. She's laying on the ground. So... We walked by her. I got a, almost had a heart attack. Walked by her. She still didn't wake up. This has never happened when we've come home, by the way. We've never come home and she's been asleep and she was sprawled out on her side, but she does sleep this way. She sleeps like, sleeps on her side, legs out, like, you know, front and back on her rug. And that's the place where she sleeps. But when we open the door, it's right on that rug and she didn't move. And I was a little nervous. The word she had passed on. But she, I mean, she's an older girl, but she woke up. She was just in a deep sleep. She was embarrassed when she woke up. So, I was grateful. Anyway, so I had said to the youngest that I think I was going to make something along the line of chicken tacos, but I was going to do a spin on it, like making like chicken bulgogi tacos. You mean like a tacos. shredded, that shredded chicken you had? Yeah, but like, like almost like chicken bulgogi, something different, like not just traditional tacos. So, what's, a, what's a bulgogi? Bulgogi is that seasoning. Remember, we had those bulgogi meatballs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So... We'll see. Turn up the heat. This is why he doesn't cook. You're not the most patient no. pineapple, are you? No patience. So the reason you don't want to turn up the heat, let me just talk about, speak to that, is because if you get it too hot, you're going to have scrambled key lime pie, which means the eggs are going to cook too fast, they're going to scramble, and is not going to be the super smooth texture you want. I so, like scrambled eggs, though. I love scrambled eggs. I do not want a scrambled egg key lime pie. <laughs> so gross. That would be disgusting. So patience is yeah. really important. And when it does come together, it comes together quick. I will tell you that. So now I'm going to look and see. You guys see there. Oh, no, no. We're still really liquidy. So you will see right here when it starts to thicken up. So you're going away this week. I know, going to the lake, and then you'll join me later. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to, oh, actually, speaking of that, I'm going to be, um, one of the days this week, making my friend's famous, uh, my friend's husband's famous corn pie, that I like to say Jersey corn pie, because it's best with Jersey corn, and I'm not going to be streaming it, because the lake, as we found, we tried to stream the last time we were at the lake, it was a very choppy glitchy buffered stream yeah. so what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to make a video when i um as if i was streaming i'm going to make a video and um which means that it's not going to be fancy <laughs> so it's when, not going to be what? when philly philly says she's going to make a video that means it's just going to be like her stream but it's going to be taped because i'm not i can't zhuzh them up yet maybe someday friends but right now i'm not a video zhuzher like i i just Press play, I chat, I cook, we're done. So um, so yeah, so I'm going to be making the corn pie. Now the one thing I will do since it's a video is I will not chit chat with everyone while the corn pie is cooking. 
I will cut away and then when it's done, you know, bring it out. So that drops on Friday or Saturday. So stay tuned for that. It's an excellent recipe. Highly recommend it. Just make sure your corn Pretty is Pretty simple clean. too, right? So simple. It's basically like a corn quiche. Yeah, right. Um, and that, I am actually picking up gluten-free crust tomorrow from River Wards. Because River Wards, which we keep saying, I wish right. I wish I could say that River Wards was paying me for this. Not that I, I'm not, I'm not saying that I need to have that. <laughs> but, but I'm not. Like, we love that there's a market near us that opened up this summer and it is awesome but they even have gluten-free pie crusts i don't think i knew that yeah that's cool i saw that one of the many times i've gone there to get stuff because every time i go there i tell them i also i get what i need and i just peruse the shelves one more time just to take in all they have and it's not a big market either, it isn't so. a big market it's amazing all that they have considering how small the market is and i love that they have regular pie crust by the way as well but they do have gluten-free crust because I'm on vacation, so I'm not making my own crust. Now I can tell that is quite simmering because you see all that steam coming up. So I do not want to raise that any higher. Let me just double check. I don't think it's really up it, I promise you it will thicken eventually, friends. I promise you that. Just not yet. Um, what was I gonna say? So yes, yeah, so I'll be doing that. And then um, that next week, do you want to touch the screen just so it doesn't go black? Um, shoot, I forget what I was doing after that. I think I'm making a drink. Oh, oh, now this is going purely on memory. So you know how, that, how well that works. But I believe the week we get back from vacation, it will be a cup. Oh, 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 come over here, come over here. Look, do you see how it's starting to cook right, the there spoon? You go. Okay, starting to coat the spoon, and what Jeffrey Sicari would say, when you go like that and it stays the lane, that means it's getting thicker. So what I'm going to do is add that butter. So bring me the butter, baby. And can you carefully set, do not clock, set a piece of butter in. Okay, there we go. Thank you. This Good. one? This one, because you can't set the other one until that one melts. This is, again, patience. <laughs> Woo, that's even good. Okay. So the butter is going to melt, and what's happening is the butter. Oh, make sure you're not you're not in front of the camera, right? Okay. The what's happening is the butter. I'm going to tilt this a little bit so y'all can see better. The butter is just going to slowly melt into the custard, and that is just going to enable it not to separate. So that's what we're doing. So you can add another one because once it's starting to almost be done, you can add the other one. Thank you. We're going to do all of these. Here, all of those. Incorporating all that yummy butter into this delicious custard. And do you remember what's going to go next after we get all the butter in? Gelatin. The gelatin. See? Look at the pretty color that is. That is pretty color. You know what I realized? Is that I was thinking that I'd be able to do the, um, what do you call it? The, um, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm solving a problem in my head right now. That's why I'm stuttering. Um, okay, you can put another one in. What I'm gonna, this is what we're gonna do. After we get the gelatin mixed in, we are going to strain it, which is to get any lumps so that it's all super smooth. And, um, and then what we're going to do is, I'm gonna put the little bit in the little dish before, go ahead, before I go ahead, and add the lime zest because we don't need to have the lime, the fancy lime zest in the one we try for y'all. Um, Agreed. So that way it'll start to cool and then we'll zest the lime, add it to the main one that's going to go and be pretty for everyone. Okay, does that sound like a plan? Good. You're going to help me remember that short. So you can see we're just, when it's almost melted, we're adding the next one. And again, the reason that you're being patient and you're waiting and doing one at a time is because it enables it to slowly melt in and it doesn't separate. So the fats stay, basically it stays in the solution, really. This is pretty cool, actually. Isn't it cool? I mean, there is a little standing, but see, so for me, this is like folding clothes. Like, I think there's something zen about it. Like, it's just, I don't know. Like, and you know you're going to get something super yummy afterwards. So I am all about that. So how long will this have to cool in the fridge? Three hours. Three hours in the fridge? Mm -hmm. oh, that's right, you said that earlier. Yeah. So 
I'm not sure if it'll pull in time for Matt, but we can certainly cut into it if he wants to. If he wants a piece. Okay. Oh, this is just beautiful. We have one more. See, it didn't take much time. One more. Just stirring. Patience, we're still not done doing it yet. We still have a bit of butter in there. And by the way, do not let me forget to use my um, mitts when I take this hot glass dish out off the double boiler. Well, you'll figure it out pretty quickly. Oh, but we'll all like lose a pie, so that wouldn't be good. There you go. You put that in the sink. Okay. Yep. Okay, so I'm just going to get this incorporated. And can you, oh, thank you. And actually, I'm going to have you stir because yeah. I want to look at the instructions real quick if you could. Just stir. Thank you. Butter is melted. Oh, we actually add the gelatin to, with it on the heat. That's what I want to make sure. Okay, now, so I got to show y'all what the gelatin looks like. So while he's stirring, I'm going to show you. See what's happened when the gelatin Ooh. softens? So this we're going to want to have dissolve into there also. Is the butter gone? Yep. Okay. So now, add this. Oh, that's weird. Yep. Whoa, it's stepping. Oops. Sorry, can you hold it a second? Okay, there we go. Gelatin just went in. And then we're going to strain. I'm actually going to turn off the heat. Can I check that out so I can see what's going on with the situation? Okay, I see that it actually incorporate pretty quick though. Yeah, it just kind of melted right in. All right, so I'm going to need those two. Can you bring over the two mitts? You sure don't want to try without the mitts? <laughs> They're cute. All right. And I'm going to have you hold the finger. Um, strainer. Strainer. Oh, I'm dripping. So now what we're going to do, you're not going to be able to see this because, um, actually, I know what I can do because we don't need this anymore. Let me just switch this. Okay. So now we're just going to pour this over. I'm going to do like this so they can see. <gasps> Wait. Oh, gosh. I need a bowl under there. Yeah, I was going to say. That's... <laughs> I was wondering what you were doing. I oh, okay. We're going to do this over here. Oh, that could have been so horrible. Oh, that's funny. Funny, not funny. Okay, I'm going to do it here. Just, you can actually rest it down. So you don't actually need another hand. So can you bring that um, spatula over? Yep. And get all the yumminess out. Does not be perfect, but just get most of it. I can't believe I almost put it down the drain. This is what happens when you stream. You like, you <laughs> get lost in that your. Would awesome. <laughs> oh, it would have, I would have cried. Oh, you could have seen me cry on stream. What happened with that Philly Philly? That one stream, she she lost it. <laughs> she poured. She cried. She poured the food down. She the poured drain. all the yumminess that we've been so. Okay, that's good. We've been so patient for. Now hold on to that because I'm gonna need that. No, no, no. Okay. I just need you to move. Okay. Thank you. Lick it because I need them. You know, I yeah. want to. I know you want to. Okay, so then you're going to take your um, sieve and you're just going to smush it because you want to you want to get like all of the good curd out, but you just don't want any solids. And you'll see there's going to be some solids here. And that is not what you want. So this is why you do this because I will tell you, I'm queen of wanting to not do all the steps. That's, that's wild. There is a fair amount. Yeah. Yep. And then I'm going to actually even take this goodie stuff off because that's all good stuff, even though I'm splurting everywhere. So let me just show you what we saved from going in. In fact, that I don't want now because it has, see, it has that stuff. So don't lick that because it's got, you see what happened there? Do you see all that stuff? That you don't want in. This is why you, you do that. So if you would fill that with water. Oopsie. If you fill that with water, that'd be great. Okay, so then what we have left is this beautiful, Heard. So we are going to add some zest to it, but in the interest of a stream and not having this take too long, we're going to actually reserve a little bit of it for our little sampler. Now, 
Thank you, dear. Yep. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a little spoon. And you get the spoon, though. That's what's good. You'll get the spoon. But don't burn yourself, because okay. it's gonna be hot. Remember, this is hot. Oh, look at this curd. So I'm just going to pour some of this in. This looks beautiful. Make That's it good. our own individual one. No, no. There we go. Okay, we'll put that in the fridge. And then I'm gonna put the rest of this in the main pie. So our beautiful pie crust that we made, that did took no time at all. And we're just gonna fill her up. stream if it wasn't for the noise so you can get a um use that one actually taste it no you uh, well you're not gonna rinse that out because that's all good stuff okay there we go and i'm just gonna put that in wow it's great it's tart oh so good but i will say keep mm, key lime pie you want to have that tartness there's plenty of sweetness in there mm. But okay. you want to do, just keep that for me. Okay. Don't you dare put water okay. in that. Put it over here. So now we filled this and it doesn't look super pretty yet. One thing you won't get a chance to see, um, I'll make sure and post, uh, I'll post a different picture. So the first picture. Tell them back towards you. Thank you. Okay. The first picture I will put for my thumbnail will be, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that for my thumbnail pictures. But um, once we actually have this, I'm going to put whipped cream all around it so we can get a pretty picture. But see how there's that room then to put whipped cream all around the edges. Okay, so now we gotta find a spot for this in the fridge. Oh, yeah. No, oh, I forgot to add the, oh, I forgot to add the lime zest. Oh, shoot. Oh, I got so excited. Okay, so I don't recommend doing it this way, but this'll be fine. Oh, I thought that's what you meant. I thought you were going to do lime zest. No, I was going to do it. Okay, this is not what you should do. You should zest your lime ahead of time, and you should mix it in the bowl. Oh, I got but you. But wifey, <sighs> well, it matters to me because I like to follow steps and not make mistakes. So I'm going to now. What I'm going to do because I made this mistake. Don't do this, please. By the way, zest your lime ahead of time. Add it while it's in the bowl. And I, I did that because I wanted to try to get the one that was, you know, going to be ready for us to taste. So you're getting it all over. I'm going to mix it in. Oh, okay. It's a good thing I love <laughs> I didn't, him. I didn't know. I just. I love him so much. Even when he's judgy. <laughs> or what do we like to say when we're. Well, no, I guess Snappish is not being judgy. Snappish is being, like, sharp. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can't believe I did that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a fresh fork. See, th this is what happens in home cooked life. You forget stuff, and I'm just going to swirl it around. Oh, I touched the bottom, so that's going to be fun. I'm going to swirl it, swirl it. Kind of the same thing, right? Yeah, but it's, I have some on the crust now, and it's just not gonna be incorporated evenly. Your wife likes, she she runs by the rules, so I'm very disappointed that I forgot this, but this is so my life. I forget stuff like this all the time. And then you fix it, you you find a way, right? Find a way, make a way. Mm. You get so, uh, and I get so, so frustrated with yourself. I get so annoyed, okay. Let's try that again. Now we're gonna find a place in the fridge for this to cool for three hours. And you won't get to see the finished product, but I will post the finished pic up on the video. So if you wanna check it out, make sure. Thank you. So what I love is that we keep it real. So let's think about the things, the things that prove this is a home cook. I almost, I almost um, put my key lime curd through a sieve down my drain. That was would have been the biggest mistake. I would have cried. I literally think I would have cried. 
Oh my goodness. Um, and then the second thing is I forgot to add the lime zest because I wanted to set aside the one, you know. So anyway. It's a funny look of lime. That's fine. Let me get you a baggie for that and we'll get that put away. For a future cocktail, perhaps. Oh my goodness. Okay. Whoops. Do you want me to get it? No. Nope. I'm stubborn. Can you hold that? Okay. There you go. Thank you. So we're going to try the, uh, the little one? In a minute. I'm just trying to give it some extra time to get done. Put some uh, whipped cream on it? Oh, I'm definitely putting whipped cream on it for us. Absolutely. Nice little key lime. We'll tidy this up a little bit. And of course, what you could do is you could put a little lime zest um, on top of your whipped cream also. Like, do you want to get the, get the new one out, by the way? And then we glad close the fridge so it can continue to get cool. Nope, because they'll come out nicer. So I'm not making homemade whipped cream. It's very easy to make home whip, homemade whipped cream. All you do is you get some heavy cream, you get your whisk attachment on a beater, you whisk away, you can add whatever flavoring, whatever sweetness you want with sugar till it dissolves. He's testing out whipped cream, making sure it tastes okay. I'm shocked you're not doing that on camera. Just keep it real. We like to get the extra creamy one that's a little bit thicker. Um, it's just even more yummy. So that's what we like to do. All right, so I'm going to I don't think it's really ready, but it's pretty close. Well, no, it's it, 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 up a little bit. Not much. It's still moving. But it is what it is. Okay, so this is our little tester that we had made. We put. Oh, yes, yeah, it's moving. This is more like a pudding consistency. The good news is it'll still taste good, but yep. it is definitely moving. It is not set. But we just want to show you the flavors. But it's gonna be more like a soup. Okay. Oh, that soup I had last night was so good. That's good. All right, so we will add pretty whipped cream on top. And since um, it's tiny, we covered the whole thing with whipped cream. You go first. You made it. And I'm going to cut into my soup. Oops. And I got, you can see I have my, some of the yummy bottom, with the custard and the whipped cream. That doesn't suck. No, that's really good. But you know what's good? Is that once it sets up properly, it'll actually hold its shape too. So yeah, I'll make I mean, sure, what else I'll do is I'll make sure I do a picture of that pie. I won't do the whole pie, I'll just do a picture of this slice. Right. I'm sorry, I'm just thinking through. This is almost like the kind you get at um, um, season 52, the little. Yeah. Mm. But the crust is awesome. The crust is awesome. The rest is yours. Mm. Mm. So I'm good. telling you, it's so good. I love the tartness. I think the tartness is why it's a great end of meal dessert because it doesn't like, it doesn't, um, doesn't assault you with sweetness. Remember, I used all the part of you. when I was doing the. Um, the viral air fry hacks and I was tasting that bagel cream cheese cinnamon honey thing that was a little sweet this is perfect um excellent yeah so it's a little slice of summer mm-hmm mm. I'm telling you big takeaway I'm always reminded when I make a homemade crust those homemade graham cracker crusts are delicious and the great thing is you can use the same ingredient I mean the same ratio with any cookie like you could do it with biscoff now biscoff would make a great crust not that with key lime yeah but with the right kind of filling I would um but so I'll be dropping the corn pie video uh, Friday or Saturday this week the Jersey corn pie video and then the week after we get back I believe on Wednesday it's the high five now the high five was that one cocktail 
that I had gotten from um, Wild Feather. Remember we tried that? They had posted it. Yeah. I mean, they didn't, I don't think there's, yes. other people have the high five, but it was, it was a really good, good cocktail um, that we wanted to share. And it's one that I like, so you know it won't have bourbon, so I apologize for that if you drink all only bourbon. But, um, but yeah, so that'll be the Wednesday we get back. And I think that's it for now. Sounds good. All right. So until we eat again, try this recipe. Um, your Whoever you bring it, whatever party or friends or even just your family, they will be so appreciative that you did. And let us know what you think, as always. Um, and be sure to subscribe and like the video. Until we eat again, have a great week this week. See ya. See ya.